Hello everyone and welcome to the video. So today we're going to be looking at two add-ons you should have for Blender if you're going to be doing any modding for Farming Simulator 2019. Now ultimately I recommend you use Blender 2.8 which you can get on their website, link in the description. Also linked in the description will be the two add-ons which I'm going to be recommending you get today. So those would be Material Selector for or Blender 2.8 and Giant's i3D Exporter for Blender 2.8. Now you can also get versions of these for Blender 2.79, but personally I prefer Blender 2.8 because it's more polished and easier to use. Alright, so what do these things do? Material Selector it allows you to use UDIM textures properly and set it up so that your textures come in the right UV slots in Giant's Editor. So for instance, if you want to make a colorable vehicle or colorable rims, then you can align your UV map in line with those UDIM tiles. Now if you don't know what that is, that's alright, because I'll go over some tutorials on making colorable meshes and stuff like that. Now, i3D exporter, what that is should be pretty straightforward. Allows you to export i3D files from Blender. Now I don't know why on earth this there wasn't an official add-on for this, but thankfully mine community came through and here we are. So now you can export i3D from Blender. Okay, so download both those files, link in the description, and yeah, I'll see you when you're done with that. Wow, you got both those files already? Wow, that was quick. Good job. Alright, so now you got your files, IO export i3D, and you did farming new dot zip. Alright, so we got both the zip files, now how do we install these? Well, there are two ways, let's go through them. We're in Blender here, I'm using 2.82, but as long as you're in 2.8, it shouldn't matter which one you're using. First, we're going to go over the more reliable method of installing add-ons for Blender. And that would be to go to App Data, Roaming, Blender Foundation Blender, I'm using 2.82, so I'd go in there, Scripts, Add-ons, and now let's get our add-on files. Alright, so let's go ahead and just open the zip files. And I'll just create a new folder in here. Name it that. It doesn't really matter what you name it too much because all this takes care of what it comes out as. These scripts all control the real name of it. So now another new folder. We'll go ahead and create one, and this time for UDIM farming, and now we got these files, let's just make sure they actually go in the folder, oh, that didn't rename for some reason, there we go. Alrighty, so now let's go in the blender, and add-ons, Refresh, Game Engine, Material Tool, you'll want to enable that, and also i3D Explorer Tools, you'll want to enable that. And you'll see now this comes up at the top, and if you want to use the UDIM Material script, it pretty much just puts it right in there, as long as it's enabled, if you open a new tab with UV Editing. So there you go, both add-ons are now enabled and you can use them on your Farming Simulator mods to help you out. Now an alternate way of installing add-ons would be to go to Preferences, press this Install Add-on button, then go here into the folder where you put the zips of the add-ons, and then just click on the add-on and it will install it. Unfortunately when I did this it didn't work for the UDIM one since it wasn't properly set up. So this doesn't work all the time which is why I showed the other method first. This one's quicker and it will work for the i3D export add-on but it doesn't work for the UDIM one. Alright so that should just about do it and hopefully this tutorial helped you. If it did give a like and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.